Do you ever get stuck just trying to make cool progressions and you just can't think of anything to make? As you can see by this cool, cool website, I'm gonna just generate a random scout, random BPM, and see what I can make out of it. So as you can see here, all modes, random key, random BPM. Let's get this into FL Studio and see what we can make. So as you can see here, I transferred the MIDI into FL Studio and I set it to 99 BPM, that's what was. First thing I'm gonna do is make a lower tone of the bass notes. So it sounds like this. So for this, I'm gonna just use some roads from Lizardland. Make it a little bit washed out, so let's use a cassette chorus with a tiny, tiny bit of reverb. So now I'm gonna just try and like find a nice bass. I want to duplicate these keys and just make a little bit of a different ending, so I'm gonna just ping this up and just strum it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna get like a upright piano and make it like a stabbing effect with like a high reverb. A nice spring reverb, just make it loud. Okay, now I just wanna add this, so it's like panning out a little bit. And I just want to take this and just like fade it out slowly. So now we're going to go on splice and try and find like a percussion loop that can fit in with this like R&B sound. Let's just go for R&B and let's see what we've got. So what I want to do with this, I want to get like four loops and layer them together just to make one whole texture. So we'll take that snap. So yeah, I like this percussion sound, so I'm going to just take this. So we like the shaker sound. As you can hear here, these are the four I've chosen. So we want to put these all in a separate channel. And we're going to call this the mix bus. And what we're going to do is just unhook these and route these to the mix bus. Preloaded this mix bus that I had. It's the parallel crunch just to give it a little bit more brightness. And then just a compressor, but a vinyl tape as well. And then a little bit of like airiness with the spring reverb. What we want to do here is just narrow bound. So we've got this tracked out now. I want to add a little bit more reverb onto it. Now let's try and find like a pad that can just give it a little bit of like spatial sound and just take a different element to it. I've got this guitar, let's try and make a little bit more bounce to it and more rhythm. And as you can see here, if we quantize it, it's coming a little bit off the grid, so it's it just sounds like it's naturally been played. So let's just run it through my favorite amp, the Cory Wong, and let's just use like the cleaner's whistle. It's pretty much the, the best one that I like. We want to use this wash. Now let's use the delay that's actually in the Cory Wong. It's actually super fire. Let's see what we can get through that. Now let's just try to add some drums, just try and make it a little bit more vibey. Let's get a snare. Let's get another hi hat. make the ending just like slow down. I lastly want to add like a lead just to bounce off the drums. I just want to add like a repeating note of this so. so I'm gonna see what it sounds like pitched down so it's see if it sounds better. I 
I want to make the base a little stand out a little bit more, so I'm going to put a decapitator on it. So I'll just put this on the higher. But yeah, this is what it sounds like with the mixed drums. Yeah, I think they come out fire. It's a cool little concept to just use that generator, especially when you're lacking ideas. You know what to do, people. Follow down below, and I'll see you in the next one.